Welcome back and let's continue with the series of Python by WS Cube Tech. I am Nehal and in this particular video, we're going to be talking about functions in Python. So let's get started. So basically functions are nothing but a block of code that performs a particular task. So there are basically two types of functions that is the user defined functions and the built in functions. So up till now, we were making use of this built in functions, the methods we were using the length count and print methods and all. So these are nothing but it is the built in functions and the user defined functions are nothing but the uh, function that we users as a individual users we created. So in this video, we're going to be creating our own functions. But the question here arises like uh, why there is a need to create our own functions. So now suppose you're going to be having a code of say, uh, which has about 100 or 1000 lines of code you are having that in your project and suppose that in that thing uh, uh, if you see or if you just write it in the way we were writing earlier uh, like the statements and all so you may see that it may uh, the readability might not be achieved you might have difficulty in reading your code or even maintaining your code would be a complex issue for you so it's better to divide your entire code into some pieces and some chunks okay and these chunks are nothing but functions so if you just divide your entire code into just smaller pieces uh, which i call which are called as functions so you can uh, achieve a good readability uh, the maintainability can be very easy and even you can just reuse those pieces of code which you have mentioned in your functions again and again so there's no need of writing or repeating the code again and again you can just simply reuse those lines of code and that's why there is a need of uh, creating a function in your uh, program and even one more uh, thing is that it uh, the there you can achieve easy debugging because the debugging would be faster and uh, uh, because of the functions so we are going to see how you can create your own functions so in order to create your own functions first you need to use this def def this is nothing but it is a keyword and it simply says your python that uh, yes you are creating a function now so this is the keyword that is def def and after this you need to give it your function name so you can give your name anything so i will give you my function and this is nothing but the function symbol and don't forget the colon fine so this is how i declare my function over here so def def is my keyword uh, then you are supposed to give your name of this function so in my case i have given my function uh, you can you make use of underscore or you uh, it's even acceptable if you don't use it it's fine but uh, the more uh, the it is best to use uh, separate it with this uh, uh, underscore uh, uh, character if you are having uh, your name is of two characters so fine so this is how you declare uh, your uh, define your uh, function so after this you will just enter and you can see that don't forget uh, the indentation over here so basically whatever you are going to write in this uh, alignment so it will be just a part of your uh, function so suppose i just uh, write a simple statement that print welcome to wsq so this is nothing but this is my simple print statement i am writing over here you can have as many as uh, uh, statement as you want inside your function and now if i just run it so you will see that you are not getting anything right so in order to just uh, this is the thing you have just declared your function over here now you need to simply call this so in, you need in order to just uh, print this thing you need to call your function so these are, there are two things first we define the function and then we need to call it so how you are going to call just come out uh, of your um, uh, function body part so just uh, give a back uh, backspace and over here you need to call your function so in order to call your function just we can call it by the name so i'll just say my function and as soon as i just run over here you can see i'm getting welcome to ws cube tag so this is 
nothing but a simple function we have created over here so this function what it will do we have we are calling this uh, function so it will just come over here and it will just fetch all the uh, statements uh, or the line of code you have written inside this uh, function so this is how you declare a function now we can even modify this a bit suppose say uh, i uh, now in this case suppose uh, uh, you can even pass your uh, parameters fine so inside this uh, you can pass one parameter to or uh, as number of parameters uh, as you want but uh, if you want to use this with uh, parameters that will also work so we'll see this that thing so suppose i what i want to display is welcome to ws cube xyz person i want to uh, welcome some person into my company so i'm just going to give a parameter over here so i will say suppose uh, name fine and in this my print statement what i have to do i will have to make some necessary changes so this will be the thing uh, the in the quotes it, this will be printed and then what i have to do i have to pass this name over here that whatever the name i'm going to here i'm going to pass the value fine so this is my parameter and here i'm going to uh, pass the value to that that is that would be my argument so in order to do, uh, do that thing what i have to do i have to just uh, use this uh, a plus symbol that is concatenation and i have to say name and uh, by this thing what will happen now here as you can see when i'm calling my function so it is very necessary to pass your param uh, the uh, argument over here because you are declaring a param a parameter over here so it is necessary to pass the value of it if i don't pass it it will just rise an error that missing one required positional arguments so if you are passing here a parameter it is necessary that you pass the value over here that would be your argument so basically what i'm going to say is i'm going to pass here a value so suppose i say that rahul so now basically what this will do is uh, it will just read this uh, my, i have created this function it will come over here i'm calling my function and now it will just display welcome to wsq tech and the name will be fetched as rahul so you can see here i am getting uh, this you can just give a space over here so uh, yes now it has displayed uh, so welcome to ws cube tech rahul so this is how you can use this function with the arguments right this is nothing but this is your argument and this name is your parameter so just don't get confused between what is argument and parameter parameter is nothing but what we give over here this is nothing but parameter and the value which we give is the argument so rahul is my argument over here or you can even say value fine so i can just call this my function uh, the number of times as i want by changing simply the value over here so suppose i say my function and i will just change the name suppose i say uh, rani so now it will go, uh, print the both welcome to ws cube tech rahul and welcome to ws cube tech rani so this is the beauty of using function like you don't need to repeat this print statement again and again in your code now whenever you have just declared one function over here and whenever there is a need of calling your function or uh, so you can simply just call it by the function name and you can just change the parameters and uh, it will just work work fine so you can call this as many as number of times you want in your entire program so this is all about the uh, functions that we can use with the uh, arguments fine so this was all about the simple function we saw and this was function with the arguments now the next thing we will going to see is how we can use a return statement with the function so simply what i want to do is i will just uh, uh, delete this thing and now what i want to do is i want to make use of this return statement so basically how you can do is suppose i uh, will understand this with the help of an example so suppose i have to write a define a, fu a function where i want to perform say a square of some number fine so in that case i i need to declare my uh, function so i will simply start with the def keyword and i am going to just name it as you can say square fine and inside this i am just uh, for time being i am not writing anything let's first understand the thing concept so what i am going uh, doing over here i want to just square the numbers so suppose that i want to just say num into num 
all right so i will just going to pass this num as over here as well because i just want uh, because when i will just call it suppose out, out of the body of my uh, function so when i'm going to call i'm simply going to call by the name so i'm just going to say square and when i say square so as i have declared here as parameter so i need to pass the value over here the argument so uh, i will just pass two over here and this thing what this is doing is this function it will just uh, take this uh, value over here and it will just uh, uh, calculate that number that is it will do 2 into 2 and just will give me the value but suppose now i say run so you are seeing that it's not displaying me anything so let's just print this thing so but then also you will not get the result over here you are getting it none fine so basically what you can do over here is you can make uh, say return this is nothing but this is also a keyword in python and it simply says that it will just return you the result of the this thing which is inside your function to the caller uh, this is nothing but you are calling the function so this is the return uh, keyword which you can use with your function and now it you can see you are getting the result over here and again uh, i can use uh, as many as number of times as i want uh, i can just use this uh, function in, inside my code so suppose i want to print some uh, i want to get the result of some another say a uh, 3 so what i'm going to do is, do is i'll just copy this thing i can paste as many as number of times i want i can reuse this thing and here i want suppose of 3 then i want a 4 square of 5 and if you just run it you can see the results over here so of 2 is 4 of 3 is 9 of 4 is 16 of 5 is 25 so uh, this uh, the focus was on how to, you can use this return statement with your function so this return will basically return you the value of the result uh, which is inside your uh, function uh, to the caller or uh, whoever is calling this function it will just return you that result over here so this was all about uh, the functions how you can make use of functions uh, and we'll just do a quick uh, recap over here so now uh, now as you can observe over here that uh, by using the functions uh, you can uh, the reusability is achieved over here the debugging would be easy as you have just partitioned your entire code into small chunks which is nothing but in functions so basically what we studied in this video is how you can create uh, functions in python so you can just divide your entire code into these chunks and functions so that uh, the readability is easy mentality is achieved and debugging is available uh, is also possible easy debugging is possible and moreover to this you can even see that you can just instead of writing that code again and again you can just reuse those lines of code by just calling it uh, by the name of that function you have declared so we have seen how to declare the function so in order to declare a function you need to make use of this def def and then the name of the function and it's uh, if you don't pass the uh, R parameter over there it's completely fine and uh, uh, you can just print the statements inside that uh, all uh, it will work and uh, the thing is uh, you can even uh, declare uh, use it with the uh, ar arguments and parameters that is uh, you can use it with the parameters so by passing the parameters you need to just pass the value over there and one more thing over here i wanted to tell you over here is like say for example uh, i just write here suppose in this uh, body of uh, function suppose I, i'm printing something so say i'm printing this um, uh, say say i'm printing something so hello so you will see that it think that thing won't get displayed over here the reason behind this is this return simply gets out of this uh, uh, function so this line of code won't be get displayed uh, it won't be displayed uh, in your uh, program so this point is to be remembered over here that it will just get out of this uh, uh, def uh, function all right and uh, you can even um, so this is how you can make use of the uh, uh, this was about the return keyboard how you can make use of the return keyboard with your uh, 
functions over here so return basically returns you the result uh, fine and uh, uh, th just remember that thing that this is nothing but this is the parameter and this is the argument and whenever you are passing some uh, your the are uh, parameters over here so just remember you need to pass as many as the pa parameters you have declared over here the, that many of values you need to declare over here this point is to be remembered so i hope you are clear with uh, the functions and all and in the next video we're going to be talking about what is modules and uh, more stuff like um, what is pip and all so see you over there thanks for watching <laughs>